Hi, welcome to Storytime. My name is Lee and I am one of the librarians here at the Community Library and I'm so glad that you tuned in for this week's Storytime. I am sitting in the tree house, which is our cool room where we usually do story time when you guys can all be here with me. But right now I'm doing it alone and I've been doing it alone for a while. But this summer we're going to be doing some outside story times and we get to be in the same area. So I hope that some of you will be able to come and join in with in-person story time this summer. There will be more details coming. So, this week for story time, I thought it would be nice to read some books about shapes. Shapes are really important. They're all around us, and so I've got some books that talk about different shapes and then an activity that you can take home and work on shapes and make some pictures with shapes. So, let's get started. The first book that I am going to read is called Color Zoo. It's written and illustrated by Lois Ellert. And who published this? We're supposed to tell you guys that. Um, it is published by HarperCollins. This is a neat book. Um, it got this award right here, and that is a Caldecott. And what that means is that it has excellent, they really liked the illustrations and they gave it a little prize for that. So let's get started. Color Zoo. Color zoo. What shape is that? It's a star, isn't it? That's a star. Shapes and colors in your zoo. Lots of things that you can do. Heads and ears, beaks and snouts. That's what animals are all about. I know animals and you do too. Make some new ones for your zoo. Tiger. Look at that tiger. And look what happens when we turn the page. This is like a magic book. <gasps> Circle. And now we have a mouse. Turn the page again. <gasps> what, what shape is this? Square. Fox. And what shape is that? A triangle. So we had a square, triangle, and a circle. And what did we make? A tiger, a mouse, and a fox. I think that the author is very creative. She does some neat things. So this is an ox. Ox. Rectangle. What do you think that's supposed to be? A monkey. Oval. Deer. What's the deer shape made out of? Heart. A heart shape. Rectangle, oval, heart. So what did we have? We had an ox, a monkey, and a deer. Look at this one. Lion. Roar. Diamond. Goat. We read about goats last week for story time. Octagon, snake. And this is kind of neat. Oct means eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Octagon, snake. Hexagon, hex means six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagon, octagon, diamond. And what animals did we have? We had a lion. Do we have a monkey? <laughs> oh no, a goat. We had a lion, a goat, and then a snake. Oh, I got myself distracted. So let's go through all the shapes again. Say them with me, okay? Star, circle, square, triangle, Rectangle, heart, oval, diamond, octagon with eight sides, 
hexagon with six sides. And then they've got all sorts of colors because there were really pretty colors in that book. Look at all the colors she used. And there are animals. Should we go through them? Tiger, mouse, fox. Ox, monkey, deer. Lion, goat, snake. The end. She has another book about the farm. It's called Color Farm, I think is what it's called. All right. I just think that her art is very creative. Okay, the next book I am going to read is called Round is a Tortilla, a book of shapes. I'm going to apologize because my Spanish is not that great, but I'm gonna do my best, okay? So for those of you out there who speak really good Spanish at home, please forgive me and come in and correct my pronunciation. Um, this book is by Roseanne Thong and it's illustrated by John Para. And it is from, let's see who published this book. We have a couple of these books too. Um, this is from Chronicle Books um, with this kind of a theme. There was one about colors and I think there's one about shapes, colors, and maybe numbers or something. It, it, there's some neat ones. All right, so let's get started. Round are sombreros, round is the moon, round are the trumpets, that blare out a tune. Round are campanas that chime and ring. Round are the nests where the swallows sing. So campanas are bells. Round are tortillas and tacos too. Round is the pot of abuela's stew. I can name more round things, can you? Can you look around your room and find some round things? Square are the letters, we know them well. Square is the board game to help us spell. Looks like they're playing um, Scrabble. It's a fun game. Square are ventanas that give a view. Square is my clock and my photos too. Ventanas are windows. Square is the park and the zocalo. Square is the fountain from long ago. How many square things do you know? Rectangles are carts with bells that chime and cold paletas in summertime. What do you think the paletas are that are cold in summertime? What are they eating? Maybe the popsicles? Popsicles are good. Stone metates inside our casa help us grind our corn to mesa. So that must be what that is, the meta, metates. I don't know how to say that. It looks like a, a grinding stone. I should show you the picture, sorry. Here we go. It's important to see the pictures. Rectangles are flags that fly above the scoreboard, scoreboard way up high. How many rectangles do you spy? Boy, there are a lot in this picture. How many flags are there though? Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five. Triangles are crunchy chips for guacamole and other dips. Mmm, mmm. I love guacamole. Triangles sail on the breeze. They line the shore and glide on seas.
Sandias chilled in tubs of ice, quesadillas by the slice. Triangles can beat the heat. What other triangles can you eat? Look at the triangles they're eating. A quesadilla and a watermelon slice. Oh, I'm looking forward to watermelon in the summer. It's so delicious. Oval is my favorite locket, a special pebble in my pocket. I find ovals at the store, huevos, olives, beans galore. Can you name a couple more? That's true, huevos or eggs are ovals and some beans and olives, yum. Stars for parties, stars for light, lining streets with colors bright. There are so many shapes wherever you go. How many more shapes do you know? And that's the end. I like these books because there's a glossary at the end talking about all of the Spanish words, which is very helpful for someone like me who needs to learn them. I know my son is pretty fluent in Spanish and I am jealous. I wish that I had that skill, but I don't. But I might try, I don't know, maybe I'll try and get better. You can always learn, right? All right, so for our final book today on shapes, it's called What Am I? Looking Through Shapes at Apples and Grapes. It's written by N.N. Charles and Leo and Diane Dillon. And this is a neat book too. It's another kind of magic book with cutouts and stuff. And this is from Blue Sky Press. I'm red, I'm green, I'm purple too. I'm yellow, orange, brown, and blue. I come in shapes, shades of every hue. I'm tasty, fresh, and good for you. This book is just a simple game. First look through shapes, then guess my name. So we've got a game to play. How fun is that? All right. What shape is that? It's a square. I'm red, I'm round, I fall to the ground. What am I? What fruit is red and round and falls to the ground? An apple. Okay, let's do the next one. Ooh. I'm orange, I'm sweet, to drink or eat. What am I? What shape are we looking through? Yeah, circle. An orange. Mm, look at the dragonfly flying too. Okay, you ready for the next one? Ooh, what shape is that? That's a diamond, that's neat. I'm yellow, I'm thin, you peel my skin. What am I? Hmm, I'm yellow, I'm thin, you peel my skin. A banana! Do you like bananas? They are delicious. All right, ooh, what shape is this? an oval. I'm green, I'm nice, to eat by the slice. What am I? Ooh, one of my favorites. An avocado. Do you know this shape? Rectangle. I'm blue, I'm small, I'm shaped like a ball. What am I? So blue and small and shaped like a ball. <gasps> and I'm good in pancakes. A blueberry. All right, what, what shape is that? Triangle? I'm purple. I'm fine. I grow on a vine. What am I? Can you think of a fruit that is purple? A grape. All right. 
Oh my gosh, look at this page. I'm red and yellow, blue and green, and shades of colors in between. What am I? I am a rainbow. Can you name the colors from our guessing game? I bet we can, let's go through. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And then do you see this shape? Six-sided, do you remember from the other book? Hexagon, it's a hexagon. In nature, there will always be a rainbow in the things you see. Look at that, how pretty. In places here in foreign lands, the rainbow can be seen in hands that make the world a better place, a rainbow of the human race. Look at all those hands. It's true, we're all kind of different colors. And that is the end. So I hope you can come in and pick up some uh, shape books. I pulled quite a few and they are on display. And I have some little craft kits for you to take home. And what they are are bags full of shapes. And then you can go home um, and I'll have some instructions in there and you can do different things. So some of the things that I do with my shapes, you can pattern. So look at the, the patterns. Even though they're different colors, they're the same shape. So we go square, star, heart, circle, triangle. So that's one thing you can do. And there are lots of shapes in the bag, so you can do lots of things. You can also use your shapes to make pictures. So what did I make here with my shapes? What are these? Triangles, circles, and a heart. It's my kitty cat. <laughs> I think you know, I really like kitty cats because I have a very nice kitty cat at home. You can also do like another pattern, pattern and like if you look, like it starts in the center with a triangle and there's a star and a star and a heart and a heart, square, square, rectangle, rectangle, heart, heart, or sorry, circle, circle, heart, heart. So you can also do different kinds of patterning and you can work on learning your shapes because they're so important. Thank you for tuning in today for story time. It's always nice to have people watch these videos. And I am so excited because I'm beginning to see more of you in the library. And I'm so glad you're coming in to see us with your masks on and saying hello. So thank you. It's lovely to see you. And I hope you have a terrific week. And I will see you next week for another edition of Storytime.